please send your prayers because with money on the line, I'm rebuilding this team. I'm attempting to rebuild the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> like I said, I need all the prayers possible. Eat corn and get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. Eat your corn, love your corn, but you need to get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. So another rebuild here today on the channel as we're attempting to rebuild the Jacksonville Jaguars coming in at a solid 78 overall. 80 overall offense, 76 overall defense. The aim today is in one offseason, rebuild this team from their current state to a bare minimum, a 10 and 6 season next year or a Super Bowl ring, which basically means like if I don't win 10 games, I probably won't win the Super Bowl. But in the very rare instance, we win like eight or nine games to make the playoffs. We still have a chance to complete the challenge if we do make a Super Bowl run and win the Super Bowl, even though we didn't win 10 games. But 10 wins is at least a bare minimum the goal today. What we're going to do is play through one offseason. Once we get to free agency signings, I'm going to have five free agents that we can sign to the team. Once that's over with, we go through the NFL draft. And then at the beginning of next season, we have a 10-minute timer to complete whatever trades we want to raw, unedited, so you guys see everything. And then after those 10 minutes, we send the season. And if I don't win 10 games, there goes the freaking money. I have to give away a copy of Madden 21, one of my subscribers in the comment section below. If we don't win 10 games or if we don't win the Super Bowl, literally you can comment whatever you want to and you have a chance to win the freaking money. So like, why not? Like, what do you have to lose? So hope you guys do enjoy today's Madden 21 rebuild. And if you do, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Also guys, let me know in the comment section below what team you want me to rebuild next. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because if and only if we do hit 800k subs by the end of the month, we'll be doing a massive next gen console giveaway to my subscribers and subscribers only three next gen consoles up for grabs. If we do hit the 800k mark, it's very possible. Like if we hit the same amount of subscribers, if not more, than what we did last December, we'll easily hit that 800k mark. So make sure to take that millisecond that it does take to click that subscription button if you haven't. With that said, really quick, we do need to go over this team and my plans moving forward. Now, we are picking up where the NFL has left off in real life. Now, you're probably seeing this Sunday morning, so obviously week 14 will be played in real life, but we're going to sim it more than likely. We're going to lose the Titans. I'm a Titans fan, so that would make me happy. So I'm really hoping in this sim we don't win more than a game or two because I want to get either the number one or number two pick so we can hopefully draft the quarterback and I've looked at this draft class and there's only a few decent QBs that I can look at we have this guy Eric Thomas and Dalton Burrs who both are first round talents they look pretty decent They're like exactly the same one's a little bit bigger than the other but I want to draft one of these guys if we do have the chance to draft them and I want to rename them Justin Fields because that's more than likely who the Jags are going to end up selecting in real life but I have no idea what their overall is they look really good projected to be an early first rounder so hopefully one of these guys who are falls to us will be extremely good now if I had to pick of the two I don't know who I'd freaking pick. I'd probably just flip a goddamn coin. But that pretty much answers what we are going to do moving forward for the QB position. We're probably just going to move on from Gardner Minshew, probably trade him, get something good next year, and bring in maybe a better offensive lineman or maybe a wide receiver. James Robinson is going to be our running back of the future. I went ahead. I might have cheated a little bit. I gave him star development. Like, he shouldn't have normal. Like, come on now. James Robinson has been one of the best rookies this entire season. He still has normal development, although they already boosted him up to an 82 overall. Like, come on now. We're going to give him star at bare minimum. You can even argue that he deserves superstar X Factor. Wide receivers, I, I mean, Dita Chark is great, of course. But if we want to take that next step and win 10 games next season, we probably need to add at least one more good wide receiver, rather it be through a trade or a free agency. Offensive line, obviously, Norwell, Linder, they're great. But maybe you can add one more stud that can start for us and kind of take us to that next level. We're probably going to look for a tight end because Tyler Eifert's probably just going to continue to regress. I mean, if we could add at least an 85 rated tight end, that would be huge for this team. Now, defensively, like the team has talent. They really do. They're not as far off as what a lot of you guys might think they are. They definitely probably need to replace both safeties, maybe add a linebacker, maybe add one offensive lineman. The corners are okay, not the biggest bit of concern, but if we can add better safeties and a better D lineman, I think this team honestly could be not that difficult to repair and rebuild. So like, I think it's a doable job. If anybody's gonna do it, it's freaking Mr. Bubbles. We do have players we can go ahead and renegotiate their contracts. Hopefully there's not the same glitch that we had last video where I'm gonna have to turn freaking salary cap off because it's stupid. Now, who do I even wanna bring back? Obviously, we do wanna bring back Sidney Jones. 80 overall. Okay, we have a ton of cap room. Let's go. That's extremely solid. So let's make sure we bring him back. He's one of our better players. 80 rated at only 24 years of age. Now, I don't wanna give him a crazy deal. A five-year deal should be okay. And he's coming back. Solid. Now, Keelan Cole... D.D. Westbrook, I think I might let Keelan Cole move on. 
and we shall uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and try to bring back Didi Westbrook. He's definitely not a bad player. Give him a four-year deal, see if he'll take that. And Didi's coming back. Next, we have DJ Hayden, 76 overall. I think, I mean, why not just bring him back? If we can get him like a, a cheap little three-year deal, we have all the cap room in the world. It shouldn't be a problem. It's perfect. Thank you. Come again. Trey Herndon, another guy. He's 75 rated, but he's, he's 24. So he definitely can get better. Give him a decent little deal. Submit this through. And he's coming back. Now, Chris Conley. Cam Robinson, I for sure want him to come back. Like, this guy's an absolute monster. He's young. A very good offensive tackle. Probably start for us next year. For sure will. And he's coming back as well. Now, Al Woods will let him go on. He's only he's 33 years of age, 75 overall. So he's probably going to regress. Rashawn Melvin, he can move on. Now, Dwayne Smoot, we gotta like, I have to be strategic about this because some of these guys I could retain just to trade on in the preseason next year. We gotta be smart about that. He's coming back. Chris Thompson, he can move on. I'm not really worried about him. Aaron Lynch, we'll go ahead and bring him back. Like, why not? Give him a three year deal. Hopefully, he'll accept that. Aaron Lynch, he's coming back. Like, we gotta have some depth the defensive tackle, right? We let the other one move on. Now, Avery Jones, he's coming back. Not really asking for crazy deals. So, like, we have got all these guys coming back and still have 80 mil in cap room. I, Josh Jones, I don't want to bring him back. We need a better strong safety. And I think that's really it. Like, or, like, we don't need any of these guys, to be completely honest. Now, the first guy, who was it that we could potentially bring back? Uh, Keelan Cole? Like, why not? Since, like, he's not going to break the bank for us at all. Like, let's give him a decent little deal. We still have 75 mil in cap room. Don't mind if I do. Like, pretty much every piece that I needed came back. At that sake, can we please simulate the Super Bowl? And can we not have won more than two games? Two games, I'll be okay with it. The Jets very well. We might get the number one pick if the Jets win a couple games by the end of the year. A weird Cardinals and Chiefs Super Bowl. I mean, the Chiefs, obviously, but how did the Cardinals end up making it with only six wins in real life? So we won one game by the end of the year. Just please don't tell me we beat the Titans. Like, that'll make me so sad. If that's what ended up happening. I don't want that to like foreshadow what's gonna happen tomorrow in real life and uh, <laughs> Might as well go ahead and see Super Bowl 55. It's got to be the Chiefs, right? There's no way the Cardinals beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl and it's close But back-to-back -back Super Bowl rings for Patrick Mahomes. Let me make sure here I didn't miss anybody Chris Conley. He can go Al Woods can go like yeah He's all the way down to a 69 rated like, I'm not really too worried about any of these guys. Josh Jones, he is up to a 70, though. That's tough. Like, I, I forgot they were going to progress here in the offseason. Like, we still have 43 million cap room. We could still get a couple decent free agents. So, like, why not? Why not just sign him? Let the other guys walk in the retirements. We have anybody big. Larry Fitzgerald's gone. Dwayne Brown. Greg Olson. Any other big guys? Drew Brees is gone. Emmanuel Sanders retires. Andrew Whitworth retires. So does Shady McCoy. Thomas Davis. Some big names, Cameron Wake, Jason Witten for the 87th time retires, Richie Incognito, Jason McCordy, ooh, Julian Edelman, AP, Matt Schaub, Jason Peters, Adam Vinatieri's gone, Frank Gore finally hangs it up after 15 years, Josh McCown gone, so some absolute legends have retired here. Oh, what the heck? Even Pete Kill retired. What the heck? Trill Suggs is gone as well. Hopefully, there's some decent free agents out there. We have 45 mil that we can spend on free agents. Come on, give me somebody juicy here. So, ooh, Kenny Galladay, Jadavion Clowney. I want Kenny Galladay. I, I really, really freaking want Kenny Galladay. So if we go ahead and offer him, we'll just give him what he wants right now and see there's any chance he actually accepts. I didn't up it at all. Now, Jadavion Clowney, there's just no way, right? Like, he's gonna want way too much money. Now, Desmond King is another guy we could add to the secondary for maybe a little bit cheap. We'll, we'll blowball him a little bit, and we'll, we'll give him like a, we'll give him a long five-year deal, make it worth his while. Now, I, I might, oh, I, I won't Gronk. I have Gronk in the thumbnail. I, I want to bring him to Jacksonville. I want to bring Rob Gronkowski from Tampa Bay to Jacksonville. I'll give him exactly five mil a year, and we have the top deal for him. So that right now is three guys we could add to our arsenal. Now, Antonio Brown, I might look at him if we actually don't get Kenny Galladay. Now, Trey Hendrickson could be a sneaky one. Even Justin Houston for a year. Maybe we go after the veteran here. We'll give him actually, nah, he won't see, he wants a short deal. That'll kind of hurt us in terms of cap. Trey Hendrickson, he could be a sneaky little one. Give him a long deal, a long deal. Bump it down a little bit, submit that through and see if he comes back. Is there anybody else that we could go ahead and offer really quick? Gerald Everett, that's a guy that's that really close to home for me. 
James White. Is there anybody, like, what, is there any offensive lineman that could help out? Like, anybody that, you know, would save us from having to trade for a specific position? Like, just go ahead and get him for free here. Well, not necessarily free, but you get what I'm saying, in free agency. We really could use Marcus Williams. That would be huge. Or even Demarius Randall. Like, he's probably going to be way too much money. Like, even Demarius Randall will be a pretty big upgrade than what we currently have. He's a star development. We'll give him a little, a big deal. Six-year deal, four mil a year, submit this through. Now, more than likely, not all those guys are going to accept the offer. But, I mean, it's nice that they're all out there. We can afford them. So, we had Demarius Randall accept. Desmond King accepted. Oh, Gronk declined. No, I wanted Gronk so bad. Oh, we're way down there now for Kenny Galladay. So we got to up that offer a little bit. It's it's way down there. Let's give him a massive seven-year deal. How about that? That's got to entice you to come to Jacksonville, right? No, we're still six. Are you serious? Who wants you? What freaking psychopaths are going to offer you that much? Give me a 14 a mil cap hit. And we're, we're still fourth. What do the Bengals have that we don't? Like, that's so much money. What a bunch of weirdos. I mean, that's $128 million. And we're finally barely in first place. But I'm so sad. Who got Gronk? Who the heck signed Gronkowski? Javon Clowney goes to the Panthers. Judy to the Colts. Gronk with the Jets? No! I'm, I'm still trading for him. I don't care. I'm still going to get him one way or another. At least we got Randall and Desmond King. But I still, Henderson rejected and Kenny Galladay rejected. That stings. That freaking stings. Are you serious? Okay, we got to bring Antonio Brown in, right? We've got to bring Antonio Brown into Jacksonville. Like, nobody really wants him. So we could probably get away with giving him a pretty cheap deal. Four-year deal, though, at this point in his career, he would probably love it. Why don't I give him a five-year deal and tie some for a cheap little deal? Now, we still have one more free agent, I think, that we can sign. Why not try and trade, like, try to get a guy like Gerald McCoy, a veteran, to help in the interior, that D-line. Give him another little, like, a little short, little small deal, just a little incentive-led deal. You know, give him a cheap deal, but a chance to be on a Super Bowl contending team. Submit this through, and hope he'll come, because we, we need two more players. We need as many free agents as we need to. Now, fifth-year option here. Taven Bryan, he is a, a pretty solid defensive tackle interior, man. But to go ahead and pick up his fifth-year option, like, why not? That said, please give me some good news. Like, I want Antonio Brown. I do. I can't believe we missed out on Kenny Galladay. And what happened? Hold on. They didn't even give me an answer. Like, they didn't even sign. Like, they just they just sat there in free agency. They're just going to stay free agent. So, with that said, let's get ourselves Justin Fields. What do we have? Do we have the first pick? Oh, no. We have the second. They're going to take one of the QBs, aren't they? They're going to take one of these QBs. Gonna go ahead and skip. They're gonna take the QB, aren't they? They took. Oh no! They took a corner, Gregory Woodley. Okay, okay, okay. So we can make a pick here. We can either pick either of these guys, Eric Thomas or Dalton Burks. Like, who be the better man here? Early first rounder. He had like a really. He's really fast. I mean, a throw power. Dalton Bruce. Okay, he's faster, and he has the same throw power. And I can actually see his accuracy. He has. Eric Thomas has B-plus throw accuracy mid. He has A-minus throw accuracy mid. Like, he's a little bit shorter. He he actually, what is Justin Fields? Is he barely six foot or is he higher, bigger than that? Like, this guy looks more like a Justin Fields type player. Dalton Burst, no, he had a worse combine grade. But man, he ran a 4 4 3 40? That's gotta be pretty fast. So Dalton Burst, he's gonna be Justin Fields in a second. Draft him, and he comes in at a 76 overall hidden development which does mean it's at least superstar he's the third ranked player in true value so maybe the other qb was a little bit better but i can't be mad at a qb that we drafted at 76 overall now i do want to see what that qb was bryce rush a 71 rated just got drafted they still haven't taken that qb yet the eagles they still haven't taken him the falcons they still haven't taken him so maybe he sucked the dolphins they don't get him either. Bro, do I just trade up? I'm not going to trade up and get him, but that'd be funny. Like, how has he not been drafted yet? I'm so confused. The Vikings, they still haven't got him. We have another pick in the first round. Like, I'm not going to get him, but that's just so funky. So, a 75, a 74. Did he get drafted? I just missed it. There he goes. Eric Thomas to the Bears. Wow, how did he fall away to 14? He's good, too. He's a 76 overall. No, he's the same rating, so I, it could have been like a win-win either way. I wonder, though. Why did he drop so much further? Now, we don't need a running back. We don't need a, a corner. Like, what do we really need? Like, 
we don't have a lot of depth to be completely honest on offensive line. So even if we got an offensive lineman just for depth, even if they were just a backup, what about safety? Any good safety? This guy, Darren Wilkins, strong safety. All the strong safety suck. Now we did sign a safety at a free agency, but like, why wouldn't we get this guy if he's gonna be good? If he plays strong safety for us, we'll draft him here. He's a 74 overall. Like, that's not bad for a rookie. It just sucks how, for whatever reason, it's very rare to even find a rookie that has high, like, development rate. It's stupid. They, they, they need to fix that next year. Well, who do we pick here? Pick number two. We have another pick in the second round. Didn't realize we had that many picks. Scott Carnegie or Zach Tiller, a wide receiver. Like, what do we... Is there any offensive lineman that's good that we had scouted left? I don't think so. That's unfortunate. Okay, no, no, no. We have Addison Pierce. We have a second round grade on him. We go ahead and grab him here. And he's a 70 rated with hidden development. Let's go, my dudes. Like, I was actually kind of nervous picking him. But you can't be mad at a 70 rated with, with, like, superstar or higher development in the second round. We have another pick here. Pick number 10 in the second round. We have so many picks. That tight end just one. He actually looks to be pretty freaking good. That does suck a little bit. We have this guy right here, Dave Bodden. They have him projected as a second, late second rounder. We could use some DN depth. Draft him up. He's a 69 with hidden development. Okay, okay. So that's, once again, not an awful pick at all. He'd probably be like a 75 at the end of his rookie season if he does start for us. Now, third round pick. This is probably going to be the last pick that we do make. And we'll go ahead and get into the preseason and the trades. That's where I really get stressed out. Now, what do we do with this pick? Like, we really don't have that many positions scouted out of this guy, Kyle Platt. He looks pretty good. So does this guy. This D-Tackle. Oh my, they both look good. We do need some D-tackle depth. Oh, there's so many good players left that we could actually draft. Maybe I need to make the fourth round selection. No good safeties left, really. So, ooh, do I go D-tackle or do I go this defensive end? This guy looks so good. He really looks freaking sick, but I just drafted one, didn't I? So what do I do? A lot of you guys say the combine grade is good for defensive linemen. So Matt Johnston, don't be awful. He's a, once again a 69 rated with hidden development. Bro, every player we picked, I think, that wasn't in the first round has hidden development. That's actually not too shabby. I'm going to keep drafting at this point. We're making some great picks. I mean, I think I've done a pretty okay job thus far. We have two picks here in the fourth round. Now, there's a bunch of linebackers that we had scouted, a ton of them, and they all look good. This guy right here, Elaney Byram, we're going to snag you. We have him projected as our early first, our third rounder. He's a 68, which is not bad right here. Unfortunately, he only has normal, but that, I mean, once again, that's even a good pick. So this, I think, will be our final pick, round four, pick number 20. I mean, we have a pick here and just a few more picks after this in the fifth round, but I I'm guessing probably after this, nobody's really that great in the draft. Maybe we can get a decent little steal here late. There's still a bunch of good D tackles. Bro, we have a first round grade on this guy. Mid first rounder, Sergio Lockridge, draft him. What the heck? Sergio, that's my best draft pick I've ever had in my life. This is literally the best draft pick I've ever had in my life. Let's let's keep on picking. A 74 rated in the freaking, what round is this? The fourth? The 16th best player at pick number 116? Bro, like, NFL teams need to hire me right this freaking second because I'm making some good picks. I'm making better picks than what half these GMs out there would make just off of freaking Madden scouting. Now, I, it's probably going to end here soon. But, like, there's still some players that we have some pretty high draft grades on. Like, one of these guys here, this this linebacker looks great. Dakota Sherrills? We'll go ahead and grab from another linebacker. Another 69 rated middle linebacker, although I'm just now thinking at the fact that I think I just made duplicate linebacker picks. But, hey, depth purposes. Maybe even trade them away. So with that said, we're going to make one more selection. Do we have any? We don't have any more safety scouted. We might not have anybody else on our board that we have scouted. Although, we have so many middle linebackers. This guy, Curtis Gordner? He looks good, or even Jerome Hightower. Let's go with Jerome Hightower. Get ourselves another D tackle. Can't have too many defensive tackles, right? He's a 68 rated in the fifth round. That's so freaking crazy. We'll go ahead and advance to the end of the draft to get this thing going and go ahead and stress me out for 10 minutes as I try to trade, not have to give away a freaking $70 Madden copy. Yeah, I've got to do what I do in all my videos now. It's so stupid. Why can't Madden fix this, man? Like, every time you do a franchise and you get into the second season or, or later than that, no teams have cap room. Like, the Eagles have negative 32 million in cap room. Like, it's so stupid. Like, it's not real. Like, there's very few teams you can trade with because even if you traded a player that was worth a few mil, they can't afford it because they have no cap room. There's, like, not even half the NFL teams have positive cap room. 
Like, that's just not a real thing. So they got to fix that moving forward. I hate that. I, like, I don't feel... I feel kind of scummy doing it at the same time. I have 41 million available cap room, so it's not like it's really helping me at all. It's just really kind of making it fair for the other teams. So really what we need to do is bolster... So really what we need to do is maybe get one, if not two, better offensive linemen. Get one solid tight end and get one better receiver at least. So this quarterback has all these great talented receivers to throw to behind a good offensive line. And defensively, we still probably need to get one more safety, like uh, a super solid defensive tackle on the inside and maybe a better D end. But aside from that, at least one safety and we should be okay. Like, we have some talented players like Sidney Jones, Desmond King, Demarius Reynolds, okay, Miles Jack, Joe Schobert, you know, Josh Allen. This team has potential and it shouldn't take a lot. And hopefully that's the case because we have an entire 10 minutes to improve this team. Now I gotta be strategic about this. We've got to go ahead and just trade away our QB, backup QB Gardner Minshew now. There's gotta be some teams that have green interest. The Buccaneers have green interest, the Colts do, and I know what I can do right off the bat. Do I do this though? Quentin Nelson, 96 overall. Talk about bulls from that offensive line. Off the get go, I love this game so freaking much, dude. So now if we go ahead and we throw in a little decent draft pick from this year, like we'll go with the fifth round draft pick. We throw in one of our lower tier receivers, Damian Willis. We're gonna welcome ourselves and one of the best offensive linemen in the entirety of the NFL after we improve the player a little bit. Trey Quinn, we can move him on elsewhere, submit this through. Oh man, that's declining again. Let's just throw in a draft pick. Instead of the fifth we just did, let's go ahead and just do a fourth from this year. And that should definitely be enough to bring in Quentin Nelson. Just like that, this team has got so much better. I love this game so much. Dude, now let's move on to wide receiver. So, we can get rid of one of these guys. Actually, like, maybe that's a good reason why I did bring back Human Cole. Because I want LaVisca Chenault to play. Because he's a young guy who definitely could improve. And somebody out there has got to have great interest. Right then and there, the Patriots. Who do you have? Devin McCourty. Oh, that's a perfect Jaguar right there. But Stephon Gilmore, I just want to test it out. Because he's a little bit older now. And yeah, it's not even close. So Jason McCourty, he can play strong safety for us. He's an old, he, he's, a, he's a veteran. He's experienced. He can play a bunch of different positions. Even cornerback if we wanted him to. So we this through. It's the client. We're about to bring in Devin freaking McCourty to play strong safety for us. Another veteran. Another, you know, experienced player here to add to the squad. Don't win like a fourth round draft pick for next year. Let's welcome Devin McCourty to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I know who I want to go get now. Where is he at? The Jets? We've got to bring you in. Mr. Rob Gunkrowski. He, what was that? Rob Gronkowski, 84 rated. He's going to be our starting tight end here. But what's it going to take to bring him in? Like, do we have anybody that they're interested in that I don't care about getting rid of? Like, one of these backups right here? Unfortunately, no. They need a right tackle. Do we have a backup right tackle we could trade away? Like, Jawan Taylor. But he's good. At the same time, we've got this rookie here. They want either of these guys. Okay, they want Pierre. Are we drafted him? Like, so what's it matter? Like, let's just try to get Gronk. It's declined. We're going to bring in Gronk. I don't care. That's our first round pick that we drafted. We're probably going to end up replacing him anyway if we have, like, the chance to. They still a little third round. Oh, no. We probably can do a later than that. I mean, a fifth round draft pick and then a third round draft pick from next year. Submit this through. Come on. Bring me Gronk. It's declined, unfortunately. So, how about the third round draft pick? We're, we're doing good. Only three minutes in so far. Submit this through. Declined again. Now, if we just go with, like, uh, fifth from next, that's probably not enough either. we be smart about this. A fifth from this year. Submit this through. Declined again. Oh, no. Don't do me dirty like this, dude. So, a third from next year. This should be accepted, right? It was. So, we, we bring in Gronk. We have our tight end now. Our, our comfort blanket for our, our offensive uh, bar quarterback. Now, we do need to try to get a better wide receiver. But let's be smart here. Let's be smart. Let's be smart. Trey Quinn. There's got to be somebody. One team out there that has great interest in you, right? You're only 70 overall. So, that maybe that's a lot. There's a few teams that kind of want you. The Jets, okay, I mean, we could have traded Gronk. I mean, him to get Gronk. Can't think about the past here. So, Quinn Williams, Jamison Crowder. Like, they don't have anybody that I want. I can't waste time on a measly team like the New York Jets. The Vikings, they have some good receivers. They still have Adam Thielen. Oh, they do 88 rated. This could be perfect. This could be perfect. We got to find another player though that they, they want. Outside linebacker here. Oh, I'm not trading Miles Jack. That's just not going to happen. We have so many good, decent corners, though. They want DJ Hayden or Trevor Williams by chance? They don't. That sucks. So how about, ooh, Trey Herndon? Don't want him either. We have so many corners that we possibly could trade away. We need to keep that in mind. I got to remember what players or positions I have, you know, depth that I can trade away. Right guard, AJ Cant. I could trade him away if they want him. 
They do kind of want him. Submit this to the universe. We're about to get ourselves Adam Thielen for our young rookie QB to throw to. So if we throw in a little fifth round draft pick, this might not quite be enough. And it was Adam Thielen. Welcome to Jacksonville. Moving along, let's try to trade one of these corners away because we don't need, we only need three top corners. So even if we just trade away one of these two guys, that'd be okay with me. But they might not, there might not be any team that want them because they're kind of lower rated. For some reason, you have to be like at least a 76. But no, there's one team, the New Orleans Saints wants Williams. Now, who can we bring in here? Teron Armstead, Alvin Kamara, Cameron Jordan. Let's do that. Cameron Jordan is declined. Okay, let's just let's try to be quick with this one. I mean, anybody here could help this team. Demario Davis. He could be middle linebacker number one in front of Joe. It's declined. Really quick, let's just see what we can get here. Teron Armstead, if not, we'll definitely get Demario Davis. Okay, it's declined for sure. With that said, my dudes, let's bring in Demario Davis to Jacksonville. I need to add in something here. Even if it's like one of the lower corners here, like Nate Medoris. 24 uh, years of age, 66 rated. Demario Davis, welcome to Jacksonville. Sometimes you got to take the best available player that you can trade for. Now, we're good at running back. We're, we should be good at wide receiver. Maybe we could even trade D.D. Westbrook to make sure LaVisca got some playing time. But I don't need to be anal about it right now. What positions can I trade away? Kim Robinson's okay. Do we actually trade away Smoot? Do we trade Smoot away? I mean, we could. But Clavon, he hasn't been that good, has he? Clavon Chase. We probably need a better right end. So maybe we use him as a backup to trade this guy away. Khalil Mack. Like, this is just not a possibility, but I just wanted to test the universe out. Yeah. Like, sometimes you gotta try. We have four minutes to go. Who can we bring in? Keem Hicks could play right in for us if we wanted him to. Do I go ahead and just do this? Is, can this be a straight-up trade here? Not quite. We have... I have so many draft picks. I need to not... I don't have to be anal about keeping them because we have three minutes to get rid of them. It's all about this year. Was accepted just like that, so Keem Hicks will be our starting right in now. So that's huge. So what do we do next? We need a better outside linebacker, right? Like, one of these guys has got to be improved. Like, maybe Kamala Correa can move on elsewhere, but we have three minutes to get this done. We need an outside linebacker. Dakota, our rookie, we can trade away. Do we, do we, we still need a better... Oh, no, we have Devin McCourty. He can play strong safety. Okay, okay, okay. So we can trade away the... Oh, this is rough now. What do I do? Josh Jones, he can be traded away, too. So anybody want two of these... Both these guys. I see a few teams have green interest. Nobody wants Jones, but a few teams do want the rookie Cheryl, who we drafted like in the fifth round. Like, I don't care about you. You think I have a freaking love tie to you? No, I don't. I just want to try some things. Try Ron Matthew. Like, I'm not in a huge panic mode here, because we have plenty of time. We've already had a lot of deals go through. Chris Jones isn't going to work, is it? Yeah, not even freaking close. Might have to go ahead and move on to another team. Mitchell Schwartz, I mean, he could play right tackle for us. Okay, I mean, I, I'm, I mean, it's not the number one position of need, but I'll take it. So a second round pick for next year, is this enough to make this go through? It was accepted. Okay, our line is about to be freaking insane, my dude. So what do we even need now? Okay, we need offensive or we need outside linebacker, right? Yeah, well, that's, that's definitely what we need. We have this, we that, those two middle linebackers that we drafted could up, end up actually being huge for us. So we do need an outside linebacker. Who are you, the Rams? Oh, Aaron Donald, like, that's just not going to happen. I just want to see what the universe says. Okay, so that's not going to get through. I mean, uh, it's, uh, I'm not surprised. Cooper Cup, I just want to try it out. Yeah, not either. We have two minutes to go. We need to get an outside linebacker. Got to. So they really don't have anybody that I'm interested in. Is there anybody else that wants Byram? This backup in a linebacker. Okay, who are you? Is it the Chiefs again? Why do the Chiefs want so many of our players? Like, you're, a bunch, you're, you're weird. All right, so free safety. Jared Wilson. Why do we have so many good free safeties that we can trade away? Come on, come on, somebody, please. Okay, who are you? The Falcons. Give us somebody that I want. Ready, Jarrett? We do need a deep tackle. Like, I just want to try. Yeah, not even close. So we have a minute and 30 seconds left to go. I just need an outside linebacker. Like, anybody? How do you say that name? 80 rated outside linebacker. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Fifth round pick, sixth round pick. Welcome to Jacksonville. <laughs> That's a hard name to say. So the last thing that we really do need is a number one huge interior defensive tackle. I have plenty of time, so I'm not stressing out. Somebody, I, I saw the first round draft pick I could trade away. Kenny Clark, submit this into the universe. See if this will be accepted. Number two overall pick, so it was a minute to go. Not stressing. Defensive tackles are normally like the easiest positions to trade for. We've made this team so freaking good. Jonathan Allen could be huge. They have so many good defensive tackles. What a weird team. Okay, once again, 
there they're not gonna trade him away all right we, I'm, now i'm starting to stress a little bit because we're we have 44 seconds but i, I still have faith in myself michael pierce if you want to come over to jacksonville it's not quite accepted but if we go ahead and throw in a cornerback maybe like one of those corners that nobody wanted dj hayden please want him please it declined again okay so we're gonna have to get rid of that first round draft pick for next year but like who cares at this point we got ourselves michael pierce boom 91 rated I don't think there's anything else we can do. Maybe I'll look in free agency real quick and see if there's anybody. I still have two available free agents that I can get. Like, why not get Damian Williams? Like, just to have ourselves another good backup running back so we don't have any good backups. And is there any good wide receivers we can get, maybe? AJ Green, just to add some depth. Don't mind if I do that. That's the fifth free agents that we signed. AJ Green, hopefully you're joining a team that can actually win for the first time in your career. We're up to an 86 overall, 89 offense, 83 defense. Now let me see how much it improves once I convert some positions around. Now up to an 88 overall, 89 offense, 87 defense. We've done some work here with this Jacksonville Jaguars organization. We look at this team. It all really depends on the development of this QB burst. If burst can actually be a monster, this team seriously could win a Super Bowl in his rookie season. The offensive line has completely transformed. We added Quentin Nelson and Mitchell Schwartz to that right side. Two of the better players at those positions in the league now are going to protect for freaking Mr. Burst. Cam Robinson, we left him the only guy that I thought about maybe trading away or improving, but we kept him. He's coming in the 76. Hopefully, we'll improve up around the 80 mark by the end of this year. Now, our wide receiver core is insane. Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, added in with LaVisca and DD Westbrook. Even AJ Green back there to provide some experience for some of these younger guys, DJ and LaVisca. And moving on to defense. Obviously, we have James Robinson, who's going to be a monster for us. This defense is so much better than what I could have ever imagined. Like, this guy right here is going to play a lot for us. Lockridge, like, we got him, what, the fourth round? He was a freaking monster, dude. My best draft pick ever. He's going to go down in my channel history as a legend. Now, Michael Pierce, Akeem Hicks, Josh Allen, D-Lions, great. This linebacker core is fantastic once again. I love you, but I don't know how to say you. We somehow improved our cornerbacks, even though I didn't think that was possible. Desmond King added in there, as is Demarius Randall and Devin McCourty to that secondary. Now, boys, with that said, if we don't win 10 games, with this team in the AFC South. I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Leave me your predictions in the comment section below. What do you think our record is about to be? I mean, like with how many times I've done this, I think this team has a really good shot. If we do not win 10 games, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to make a prediction really quick. Let's go 11 and 5. I think my record for this team 11 and 5. Although I think it should be better than that, but I'm going to stick with my guns. 11 and 5 on the year. Looks like we got a first round bye, my dudes. And if that's the case, I think that means we've won more than 10 games. And my dudes, boom! 12 and 4 on the year. I get to keep my money. Let's go! Now, I still want to win the Super Bowl. Like, even if I don't have to give away a copy of Madden, like, it's still, like, it, it's a failure if we don't win the Super Bowl. We go 12 and 4 on the year when the AFC South go from 2 and 14 to 12 and 4 on the year. Now, we have some upgrades that we can actually can do here. A ton of players that are being upgraded here. Well, dude, that means Dalton Burst is up to an 82 rating. That means at bare minimal. He is now going to get to an 84 if we do this. That means he probably won the Rookie of the Year. And I've never... like That's a lot of upgrades in one season. A lot of XP to get. So maybe he even won the MVP or at least came close to it. That's the only way you can really say a player with a 10 overall, basically, in one season. But I, I, at least I think he won the Rookie of the Year. Now, we're up to an 89 overall, a 91 offense, 88 defense. This team is insane. Keep in mind, we were a 78, I think, when we took him over. Now, Quentin Nelson's up to a 99. Cam Robinson got up to a 77. Gronk even improved up to an 85. Now, James Robinson up to an 87. With his morale boost, this guy went from a 76 to an 86 in one season. Adam Thielen's up to an 89. LaVisco went up to a 79. That's huge. DJ Chark up to an 85. James Robinson up to an 87. It looks like he also got superstar development as well, which is huge for him. Now, defensively, who did the good things for us? We had Miles Jacks almost up to a 90. 
This guy up to an 81. I think Devin McCourty is about the same. Desmond King went up to an 86. Josh Allen up to an 85. So this defense did some work as well. Now, I do want to see this playoff bracket really quick. We've got to have the one seed, right? We do have a first round bye. We beat the Chiefs out for the number one seed. They got the two seed. And the other side of the league, the NFC, the Saints got the number one seed. Bears, Niners, Vikings, Packers, Rams, and Cowboys can't see them because they're behind me. Now, I do want to check out. I want to see if that rookie, I don't think I've ever had a rookie win the MVP in any of these videos. But maybe today is the first. We have the sixth best offense in the NFL. And defensively, we had the seventh best. So pretty good, both sides of the ball. MVP goes to Josh Allen. We were in the top five. We knew it had to be something like that. How did we not win coach of the year? Like, come on now, we're the freaking Jags going 12 and four, man. Now I do want to see in the AFC Rookie of the Year, of course it goes to him. Now, I do want to check out how this team did statistically. Dalton Burst, oh, I forgot to change his name. <clears throat> I meant Justin Fields. Justin Fields had a great rookie season. 4,214 yards, 35 touchdowns, so only nine interceptions. Now, running the football, James Robinson, another great year, 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. Mr. Justin Fields had a touchdown run of his own and 190 yards on the ground. Now, catching that football, LaVisca, our only 1,000-yard receiver, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns through the air. Gronk had an okay season, 952 yards, four touchdowns. Adam Thielen added in with eight touchdowns through the air. And defensively, Demario Davis led the team 116 total tackles. Most sacks goes to Akeem Hicks with two and a half. Most picks goes to Desmond King with three. Now, all that doesn't matter if we don't end this video off with the dub. Now, I really hope we don't have to end up taking on the Chiefs because if we do, we probably will lose. Take on 9-7 Raiders in the divisional round at home. We will have home field advantage throughout the duration of the playoffs till we make it to the Super Bowl. Come on now, gotta beat these Raiders, make it to the championship. <sighs> this is so stupid.